Good morning, people. Watch Woman 65. Lisa Boyce here. Um, I have the story here from Breaking It's Real News of the Pope, and he's pushing for one world religion on Israel's Independence Day. Now, supposedly there's a meeting that he's supposed to attend, and he's pushing this one world order thing. Okay, I got this here. Listen to this article. Historically, the Vatican was no friend to the Jews, but its new initiative allies the Catholic, aligns the Catholic Church with Islam in a one world religion that may be the biggest threat ever to the Jewish people. A major event to advance the project will take place on the anniversary of the birth of the state of Israel, which according to one rabbi is fitting since Judaism is the latest, is the last uh, bastion entirely in, incapable, entirely in, incompatible with the new world religion. At an address to Vatican diplomats last month, Pope Francis announced that the Vatican will be hosting a global event with uh, titled Reinventing the Global Compact on Education. Okay. <laughs> See, when I give you these headlines, when I talk about this stuff, I talk about it with excitement. Because I know that we're getting ready to get out of here. A big part of me is excited, but there's a part of me that's sad for the people. But I am excited about the rapture. This leads us to know that we are so close to the to going home, it's not even funny. Um, it says here, a global educational pact is needed to educate us in universal solidarity and a new human new humanism. The Pope said when he first proposed the summit, a Vatican-backed website to promote the pact added educating young people in fraternity and learning to overcome divisions and conflicts, promote hospitality, justice, and peace. Pope Francis, who is, I believe, is the, um, sorry about that, is, I believe, is the false prophet. And this is coming from the false prophet himself. Pope Francis has invited everyone who cares about the education of the young generation to sign a global pact to create a global change of mentality through education. Yeah. The Pope described the need for global alliance. If this isn't the one world order, I don't know what is. Never before has there been such a need to unite our efforts in a broad educational alliance to form mature individuals capable of overcoming division and antagonism and to restore the uh, fabric of relationship for the sake of a more fraternal humanity, he said. This is strange, to say the least. But of course, like I said before, if he's not the false prophet, I'm not black. So, and last time I checked, I'm black. This guy is definitely the false prophet. He's a nut job, to say the least. I'm going to leave this article in the description box. Um, he is definitely setting up um, a one world um, religion. He's part of this. It says here, uh, it used to be that the Catholic Church um, stood against liberalism in every way, denouncing, his, uh, denouncing it as heresy. This was the case for as long as the Vatican could impose his will on his people and influence the rest of the world. That reality has changed because they don't have that power anymore. Pope Francis is a result of this change. He is a man of the people. I'm going to read that again. I'm going to read that one more time. 
It used to be that the Catholic Church was the uh, uh, bastion that stood against liberalism in every way, denouncing it as heresy, Rabbi Winston said. This was the case for as long as the Vatican could impose its will on its people and influence the rest of the world. That reality has changed because they don't have that power anymore. Pope Francis is a result of this change. He is a man of the people. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to post this article in uh, the description box, and I'm going to come back with some stuff about Syria that's going on too. But in the meantime, I'll be back. Thank you.